In this video, I'm going to go through making a template for one of our Stingray custom frame bags. These are the bags that we do for people that want a bag, the perfect fit for their bike. If you want a bag that's exactly right to do what you want it to do, get a Stingray. Just the best way to go about it. Uh, stingrays, we can do them any size or shape you want them. If you want a bag that's only going to take up half your, ba half your bike frame, that's fine. We're going to make it whatever shape the template is you send us. So if you want to leave space for bottle cages, cages suspension, any of that, just cut that bit out and we'll make it that shape. So to get started with the template, what I've done is I have taken a bit of cardboard and I've just cut it to a vaguely bike shaped sort of shape and I've attached it to the bike. I've just taped it on and that's all fine. What you need to do is you just want to mark out the outline of the inside of your frame. Obviously if you want in just a partial bag then go around any bits that you want to leave empty so if you've got bottles best way to do it put your bottles in then you can just go around them make sure you leave a bit of space so you can take them out if you've got a bike with suspension then what you want to do is sort of get it completely locked out so that it's as small as it's going to be or as big as it's going to be just so you make sure your bag's going to be a good fit so what i'm going to do i'm just going to mark out the three sort of corners of the frame for this one because i'm doing a full full frame template and then we'll take it from there so I've made sure I'm getting right into the corners as far as I can. This is so we can get a nice tight fit. Your perfect template, you're going to be able to sort of sit it in your frame and it will hold itself there because that's the shot size that your bike's going to be. So once you've marked out those bits, what you can do is you just take it off and then we'll fill in the gaps. So here we've got the finished template. As you can see, it sort of holds itself quite nicely in the frame on its own. Uh, so you want to make sure you've not got dead space around it, otherwise your bag's going to be a bit loose. You want it to be a nice close fit all the way around. Uh, obviously if you've only gone for a partial frame bag, you're not going to get it to sit in there on its own, but just sort of hold it up where you want it and just check you've not got loads of space around it. Once your template's ready, you just need to mark it up. So the kind of information that we like to have, if you write that on the template, is your order number, your email address and your name, just in case we need to contact you. Then if you can also put which way up it is. Obviously it's quite obvious with a full frame bag like this, but if you've gone for bottle cage, space for bottle cages, or if you've got a full suspension bike, some of the templates we get look a bit crazy. So if you can just put a arrow pointing up for top, pointing forward for front, that just means we'll make sure the zips are all the way around on it. If you've gone for one of the divider pocket options, either that horizontal or vertical one, if you just mark on the template roughly where you want the divider to be, if you don't mark on it, then it's not the end of the world, we'll just put it about in the middle. But if you specifically want a divider that's quite low down, quite high up, or quite far forward or backwards, then mark on the template exactly where you want it. We'll make sure it's in the right place. Other things are, if you mark things like where your bottle cages are, where your front derailleur mount is, if you've got that. Um, also, if you've got any cable stops that are on the inside of the frame, just mark where those are. This is particularly important for if you've gone for the Velcro straps option for attaching it. If you've gone for webbing ladder, it really doesn't matter and you can leave those off, but if you have gone for straps, then knowing where those are means we can put the straps in the best kind of place. It just keeps it looking nice and tidy for you. So yeah, once that's ready, you just pop it in the post, send it off to us. Uh, it doesn't need to be really thick card like this, just thin card, thick paper, that'll be totally fine. And you can roll it up, fold it up, whatever you need to do to make it easier to post. And then once we get it, we'll send you an email straight away as soon as we've opened it, and we'll make your bag the week after that.